Good morning, European fans of the Privateer FX. Two more days left in January 2018. Counting our pennies. It's had a decent month. Could have been better. Should have maximized the year a little bit better, but such is life. And as we say in the business, next we move on. Risk off today. Let's take a look at these stocks. Got through this 2840 level and basically now broke this um, upward sloping trend line. 2854 is the death knock. Allegedly, there's loads of selling to do, according to um, some of the bankers who are sending out research. There's a bunch of rebalancing to do for all the risk parity portfolios. This may or may not happen, but technically it's bearish. So you can be short stocks. Your stop is above this death knock 2864. Uh, we printed a low of 32, which for those of you who got short with us through 34 last week will remember was basically very close to that same low. We'll call it 2830. I guess we should call it, yeah, 2830, I think, uh, is kind of hammer down prices, but the the deal today is we're at 2840 now, you just want to sell in the 40s with a stop above 64, and you're looking for a move down to 2700 here. So, it doesn't make sense, sort of macro-wise. I mean, valuation-wise it does. Technically it does. Uh, Earnings-wise and economy-wise, not sure. Um, but it's bearish now, so uh, get, your, uh, get your guns out. We're going to go hunting some bear in, in, uh, in equities. And when equities are, are, are bearish, it's risk-off. Uh, let's go to our our famous friend Ozzy Yen. She's giving us what we want, but boy, she's slow on the go on this. Uh, we printed a low now of uh, 63. We do think this is going to break here, 87.20, probably this week. Same idea, core short. Try and trade it if you can. Getting lots of opportunities to sell rallies in Aussie yen. Eventually, Aussie's going to get broken, um, and then this is really going to roll. But uh, for now, it's just core short. We're waiting for this uh, 87.20 to break, and once that does break, we're looking for 130 points. So we'll move down to 86, or here's the 200 day. It's probably a good place. 86.40. So your target's 86.40 on this. Uh, patience. Let's go to the cousin of Aussie Yen, Kiwi Yen. Not a bad technical setup. We got our 200 day here uh, at 66. We're through that. Uh, 50. Looks like a nice place to add. You want to be short Kiwi Yen as well. Um, same type of trade, risk off. Um, who knows what's going to carry it? My guess is Aussie and Kiwi are going to carry this, but it could be dollar yen. Uh, tough to say. Let's go to Euro, which has been tracking Euro Swiss very closely. Nice correlation yesterday. Euro Euro Swiss. Uh, Euro's down at 56. Not doing a whole heck of a lot. Maybe with some Euro Yen selling, this thing edges down to uh, that 123 area. Probably a buy. 122.75, 123. Not a lot to say about Euro. Uh, Dollar Swiss. We've got this consolidation period here between uh, 93.93 and 93.25. A lot has happened in this period. 
When euro dollar went down, euro Swiss went down, so dollar Swiss did nothing. When euro dollar went up, euro Swiss went up, so dollar Swiss did nothing. As you know, we like these consolidation periods because the longer there's consolidation, the more power we get normally with the breakout. So you could try longs at 9393. You probably draw a wedge here as well if you really wanted to. Pennants for those of you who are sailors. Favorite yacht club pennant is here. This looks like it's going to break one way or the other. Um, you either want to be trying to sell 9324s, which I don't really like based on bond yields, or buy through this 8893. Uh, you know, have a look around, see what's going on. Dollar Swiss. Let's go to Aussie. As you can expect, it's kind of trundling down. No real massively great levels. This is the 200 hour. We like Aussie lower in this risk off situation. Kiwi, 72.90 is important. This was the uh, low inflation low. Uh, we're consolidating here. Aussie Kiwi's been kicked lower a little bit, so. But this we expect to continue lower. And then finally, uh, dollar rand. We got what we wanted yesterday at 95. We didn't trade below 90. I thought 92 would hold, uh, but it was so late when it went to 90, you really had to ignore it. Um, and now we're just going to continue buying this. Uh, you can buy through the 200 day. Uh, we're going to buy a little bit more at the at the London Open. We're going to be core short dollars are uh, two reasons. This reason number one, we've come from 1450 to uh, 1180, and then number two, um, sorry South Africans, uh, it's dollars are. Bad news is coming. It always does come. Place is a mess. Uh, don't want to pour salt on the wounds, but the jewel, the crown jewel of South Africa has no water. How's that happen? Cape Town has no water left. Weird. Anyway, we're uh, sellers of rand, buyers of dollars. Politics aside, um, technically now this is in play. Uh, we've already printed a higher high today in the dailies. That's it for now. I will see you guys at the New York Open. Good luck.